we're gonna, he's going to swap in some new frames, and he doesn't want to take the queen out with the frame. Right. So it is. I'm telling you though, she is. Oh, even though she's a lot bigger, she's tough to find. She's not even a lot bigger. She's, she's oh really? I would say she's less than hey, twice. Hey, Sophie, look. Oh, I thought this. Wow! Wait, wait, wait. You show us the queen. Awesome. You. If you can find her, you should have no trouble finding a needle in a haystack. It is so hard to find her. In fact, again, well, it's one of those. Yeah. They're always moving. She looks so similar. And all that's honey on her. See that shiny stuff? That's before we caked it over. That's yeah, actually that's brood. brood. That stuff you're seeing right there is brood, which means there's eggs laid in there. And oh. when the egg starts to develop, they put a cap over it. The honey caps look a little different. You see the top the ring? Yellow. The lighter color? Yes. That's the honey. That's the honey caps. This is actually the. Wow, you're saying it's that of a beehive. That's what he calls, that's what you call brood, okay. yeah. which basically means it's eggs that that's are laid. That's the down Exactly below. right, exactly uh, right. Yeah, and that's kind of their, looking for the you know, it's kind of their option. There, you know? there are so many of them. I have never seen the population this is, like this. this yeah. is more than we almost I ever can look turn around. And look, every one of those see, cells take that's picture. capped one, two, three. over is going to be a bee. What is, what is their lifespan? <laughs> You know, it's short. I'll talk to you later. It's not I can't remember. And if you go down into our beehive area, it tells. And I'm just trying to think okay. back. But I can't remember, but it's, you know. They're cycling. It's a pretty rough life to gotcha. be a bee. Gotcha. You literally work every second of your life until you're, you know, you fly so much that their wings literally wear away. And then that's, that's pretty much it. That's flying a lot if your wings wear away. Exactly. Oh, my that's, gosh. I mean, they just, yeah. they, their, their lifespan is, and, you know, I think it's in the neighborhood of a month or three or something and it's just like steady work the whole time <laughs> nothing else unless you're the queen bee in which case you've got a pretty good life so uh, and they, they choose which egg becomes the queen no, like, honey, we're watching they add a special right chemical to the egg and that this makes it become the queen yeah, rather than just a worker bee and so that's like the chosen bee you know? this is something you'll never see but once in your life no, i'm gonna turn it off and put it away in my pocket to be gonna do that i was just taking I've never seen this before, and I worked here for a while. We don't do it often, and, yeah. and then especially not when there's this many bees. Usually, when we open the bees, uh, it's because their population just no. dwindling. And there's they a lot of crumbs. Right we rarely they open them because their population is exploding. Well, no, we were here, I don't know, a month or so ago, or so. And we didn't see that that was in there that you don't see inside. Well, we don't do this. I mean, we do this as as rarely as possible. Yeah, so we didn't see many bees, but now you Sophia, like come you look at all the bees. They're, they're more. Come here. Whoa. They're flying all around. She's still looking for the queen bee. Well, that's all honey there, right? See it? Uh, look, how, look, how, look how goofy it is. Look at all that goofy honey on there. Well, look, it's dripping yeah. off. Yeah. Get a biscuit. Get a biscuit. That's yeah, wild. biscuit that's sounds good. <laughs> Who doesn't love honey and biscuits? Who wouldn't love honey and biscuits, right, Aubrey? See, it's just dripping, literally uh, dripping on the ground. Now he's stepping in honey. There's big goppy drops on the ground. And up on top of the frame. Yeah, but and if he pulls that next one out on the top, you'll see a big goopy goop of honey on top. Don't touch it. All right, now that's seems to be somewhere in between the two colors. So is that honey or is that brood? Is that always honey on the second stage? I'm going to say that's honey. My, I'm not the expert, that's for sure. My well, eye but you, but see, I think, almost three colors. I, I see what you mean. Usually the brood is darker and usually the honey is lighter. I'm going to say that that's still honey on top. And they, they, you know, they do that of their choice. You know, they don't have to do honey on top of eggs on, and it's just that whatever they oh, want to do. You know, but they do seem to divide it up. Usually eggs on the bottom, usually honey on top. Well, so you can see it, it's real rubbish. Yeah, look at them over there. We're not making biscuits, no, but we might gonna get some honey, maybe. I'm calling your mom to let her know where we are. Okay. <laughs> One, one time we opened up this hive, and if you know where the beehive room is, it's got mesh over the top, and it's all in c contained. So we can close it off and open the hive in there. Oh, in, yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> one time we did that, and he's doing about what he's doing now. He's really taking out a bunch of bees, and he was sh taking the frames and holding them out the window, and you just shake them off. And I mean, it'd be like an explosion of 
thousands of bees. In fact, some of them are glopped together. Well, so they call it, I know used to they'd go out and say they're swarm. And that's you know, right. they call that a swarm. When we, had a, we had a swarm here a year ago. They swarmed out on one of our trees, and we had to have a beekeeper come take them all away. Yeah, so and that's that, when the queen leaves. That's here, right. And then I get a new queen or whatever. Well, that's right, exactly right, but our hive didn't do that. Oh. And it took us fully a year to get the hive back to back to this. And this is crazy. I mean, this is a population explosion for the hive. This is awesome. And I'll tell you what, as a, as a regular visitor, when you come back and watch the bees, remember what he's putting in there now uh -huh. and watch it develop. Okay. They'll draw it out in the honeycomb, you know, uh -huh. and they'll okay, so now he's, I'm sorry. he's got them there right now. now when he takes that, that back, is he going to, he's surely not going to walk through here with that hole. He, he is. He, he walks back through here with it. He'll put the lid on it, he'll get it all sealed up. <laughs> he will he's, he'll wait for probably 80 or 90% of the bees to go back in, which so they'll do on through. their own. And then he'll bring it through all sealed up. And the bees that are still around here will go around. They'll figure it out. They'll figure it out how to get back. Exactly. That's right. say, how they, to go. they know how to get home. And, and what he said is, even if they didn't, no big deal. The hive will still just cruise right. Yeah, well, and other bees flying around. They exactly can get right. Home. They can figure. Well, anyway, so he said that you know they they'll follow. Oh, the picture. They figure it out. She just hugged her. She just hugged her. Oh. Don't be hugging the bee. You just become the bestest of friends. You guys, well, friends. She you guys loves are doing other little girls. She you, just loves other kids. You guys are doing just the right thing with this bee. See, a bee won't sting you if you just leave it alone. Oh, well, so you guys good. are doing just the right thing. You just leave it alone, and it won't bug you unless you get stung on the eye. <laughs>